Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARL Laboratory. You've just read Ward Silver's review of the ICOM IC7100. Now let's take a closer look. The IC7100 is a two-part radio. The control head is separate from the main body. Here's the control head. That's relatively small, smaller than my hand, and pretty lightweight. Has a somewhat weighted knob that's very comfortable. We'll turn it around and show you the back. And we have here the port that connects to the main body of the radio. This is a speaker back here. Uh, microphone jack is here. Uh, electronic here can be plugged into here. And this little jack right here is the headphone or external speaker. The output level is switchable by this little switch down here. How about that? Little rubber feet keeps the uh, control unit from moving about the table. Or you can actually take this control unit and uh, attach it to your windshield using this suction cup device. Now let's take a look at the main unit. Well, here's the main body where all the radio stuff goes on. Behind this grill is a fan. I haven't heard it come on yet. <laughs> There's plenty of ventilation in the rig, bottom, top, and sides. ST card goes here. Let me spin this around. Let's take a look at the back side where all the connections are. The two antenna ports. The microphone jack can also be plugged into here. External speaker jack, USB, remotes, a data jack for a GPS receiver, accessory jacks to key your amplifiers, and a good old-fashioned straight key can be plugged into here. And of course, this is where the cable gets hooked up to the control head. Power jack, etc. cetera, a pretty simple hookup. Okay, let's turn it on by pressing the button here. And on it comes. I'll let it boot up a bit. And look, we're at 75% RF power. Now, as Ward says, this is a touchscreen radio. Let me demonstrate. I can tune slowly, but I can also tune fast by hitting this part of the screen. Now I can tune kilohertz. Or if I want to change bands, I just touch it over here, like that. And I can change over to 20 meters, just like that. Modes are switched by touching the screen as well. Hit the CW button. I can change modes to sideband and hit it again and I can AM and back over to single sideband. Filters are changed by hitting that button as well. And I can adjust the filter over here with this control. Hit the filters and go back to that filter. You can also touch items on the lower part of the screen. I want to check, uh, let's see, turn the box on. Now the box is on, box off. And uh, there are just very simple menu buttons. There we go. You can turn on the speech compressor here, like that. Now that's on. I can adjust the AGC. Hit it there. It's at medium, hit it again. It's slow, and one more time, it's fast now, fast AGC. And it's relatively intuitive. And I like this part over here. It's the speech button. So if it's dark and you're not looking at the screen, you can hit this button. USB. Yeah, how about that? Pretty nifty. Overall, I like the touchscreen, and I think it's the first I've ever tested here at the ARL laboratory. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM. Thanks for watching.